This is Mon Health Talk, a weekly program focusing on the dedicated physicians, nurses, and staff at Mon Health, the region's premier community hospital system. People with skillful hands and bright minds using state of the art technology. We don't just practice medicine, we care for people like family. That's why at Mon Health you can feel the difference. Once again, welcome to this edition of Mon Health Talk. Mont Health Talk for this Monday, December 11th. Thanks for joining us on WAJR. I'm Kyle Wiggs sitting in for Dave Wilson, and our guest this morning is Jeanette Lancaster, Interim Executive Director of The Village at Heritage Point. And you can reach The Village at 304-285-5575. And Jeanette, good morning. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. Let's talk about The Village, all of the things that it offers to seniors who still want to have that independence but they don't want to deal with yard work they don't want to deal with cooking they just want to rest and relax and uh, enjoy themselves and that is what that's at the heart of what the village offers right absolutely the village is the place where um, seniors can come and live their best life actually so no more concerns about how they're going to get their yard work done or paying somebody to come and clean their house or um, keeping up with just everything that comes with home ownership. So um, that's what we're all about, making life as easy as possible so they can come here and thrive and live their best life. We understand that some of the units, some of the apartments there have been renovated. What's new? What, uh, what, what, what were some of the updates made to the facilities there? Yes, yeah, so um, since we uh, originated in 1999 um, and we have folks who have been here for a really long time with us, we still have apartments that um, when they turn over, they're the original apartment from 1999. So uh, when we renovate those apartments, we update them with granite countertops, um, gar- of course they all have car- garbage disposal, the pull-out sink, Um, faucet, uh, refrigerator, freezer with ice maker. Um, All of our cabinets, our lower cabinets, have the pull-out drawer system so they don't have to get on the floor to dig out for pots and pans. So makes it a little bit more uh, user-friendly. Another difference we've made is uh, changing the bathroom floor so that it's a slip-resistant flooring as opposed to just regular vinyl flooring. So that has um, has helped out a lot. Eliminating bathtubs, making everything a walk-in shower um, in all of the bathrooms with um, handheld shower heads that um, are adjustable in height. Um, Just a lot of really, really nice um, updates and and renovations that we're making. Um, Upgraded carpet with padding, um, the upgraded padding so it's nice and, and plush to walk on and very comfortable. So it's the best. Uh, it's the best of home, uh, away from home. I guess it's all the things that that all the creature comforts that you could possibly ask. Uh, the apartments that the village at Heritage Point. That's what they provide for you, Jeanette. Yeah. What's uh, what's on the schedule for the holiday season? I would imagine there's probably something going on pretty much every day there, isn't there? Oh, we have things going on every day. Absolutely. Um, on a, in a standard month, you know, there's exercise classes nearly every day of the week. Um, we bring in a lot of uh, speakers to come in and talk to our residents about, you know, things to help them with estate planning. Uh, we have people who come in and do painting and card making, live entertainment um, all the time. And we even have folks who bring in therapy pets. Um, we also have the MON doctors come in and they'll talk about um, a topic that's with their specialty here and the residents really enjoy that and getting to learn a little bit more about what's offered out in Mon Health in our community. Um, for the holidays, uh, we've, we've really, our December calendar is packed. Um, we had a light the night uh, last week with Santa and Caroline and cookies and hot chocolate uh, great attendance, great turnout. A lot of folks showed up, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, coming up, we have the Phipps Holiday Show in Pittsburgh that we're going to. Uh, we're going to Ogilvy Resort for lunch and lights. 
Uh, we have some shopping trips lined up so that the residents can get out and do some Christmas shopping as well. Um, and we're also going to take them to Morris Park for the Christmas lights in Fairmont there. Um, so, and then, of course, we have a lot of carolers coming in, um, schools coming in and, and bringing their choirs and, and singing for our residents. Over the weekend, we had um, the WVU uh, School of Music cellists come in, and they played uh, some holiday music. So, yeah, there's a lot going on for sure. Wow, that sounds incredible. It, it just There's so much to do, and uh, yes. it's all provided there at the Village at Heritage Point through the holidays. You mentioned the trips that you make. How are the residents transported? Uh, we have um, a large coach van um, that is accessible for our residents, so we can take them on a trip. Um, and usually, of course, we have a cutoff that's about you know, 10, 15 uh, residents. And if we needed to, we could expand and take extra, extra vehicles we have. Um, plenty of vans that are comfortable and accessible for our residents. Um, so they they have a nice ride to wherever we're going, and um, if we need to make a stop along the way, we do that as well. So mm -hmm. Okay, and you also have smaller vans for kind of personal trips, right? If someone needs to run out and get something at the store or the pharmacy or if they have a doctor's appointment, that type of thing, you can, uh, you can kind of... Uh, facilitate that as well. Absolutely. That's um, part of living here at the village is free transportation um, to get in somebody to the doctor's office. They need to go to attorney's office. They need to go um, to the store. Yeah, anything like you mentioned, we have all of that available here for them, and that's part of their residency here. In addition to housekeeping every two weeks, and a meal in the dining room, and all of the events and activities that we have here um, in-house. You talked about all the activities in December, the holiday activities. What's new for 2024? What kind of changes can we expect in the new year at the Village? Oh, gosh. So um, I just anticipate us offering more and more um entertainment and education and um, our, our, our creative team with the Mon Health Marketing Department um, have really come up with some great um, ideas for us as well to expand on our marketing uh, you know, events and, and things like that. So um, I, I anticipate a lot more um, bringing folks in from the outside, um, opening, getting us completely open. I know through COVID, you know, we had some of the things were shut down and then, you know, staffing's been an issue nationally. So um, we're trying to get back into where we can have everything open and, and bring outside guests in as often as we used to prior to COVID. So those are some of the things we're working on. Okay. What is the protocol for someone, if you have a resident there and they've got family coming in from out of town or out of state for the holidays, what is the protocol for your residents to be able to, to visit with their families and, and, for that matter, go and be with their families and then return? Yeah, they can come and go as they please. So we, um, we want our residents to feel like this is their home. So if they have guests who want to come, they can come and stay. They can stay in their apartment with them. We also have a guest suite um, here on site that uh, family members can reserve and, and stay the night here as well. Um, so it's just as if they're at home. They can come and go. If they're not feeling well, of course, we prefer that they either mask or, you know, stay out of the community. Um, but otherwise, anybody who has guests, they're welcome to come and go as they please. And, you know, we want, we want our residents to feel like this is truly their home and they make it what they want it to be. So we have a lot of residents who, when they move in, they'll bring their furniture from their home and set it up almost identical to the way it was prior, you know, wherever they came from. So that's, that's what we want. We want everybody to feel like this is, this is home. It's a community and it's warm and everybody, you know, it's very family-oriented. We're visiting with Jeanette Lancaster, Interim Executive Director 
the village at Heritage Point. You mentioned also before meals, and I know there's a chef on location there, so uh, it's it's top notch. It's top of the line in terms of what is offered to the guests. How do the meals work? And I, I would imagine the apartments have full kitchens, right? So you can eat your meals in your apartment. You can go to the dining room and have meals as well. How does all of that work? Yeah, so an independent living um All of those apartments do have full uh, kitchens, um, fully equipped with everything they might need to make anything they want to make in their apartment, Um, but they also have the opportunity to come to the dining room, Um, and our dining room is upscale, um, great extensive menu. As a matter of fact, we just uh, made a big change with our dining services and some of our menu offerings. to the point that now we're getting complaints that there's too many options. So um, it's it's very extensive. You can get um, a variety of things. You can have, you know, salad, soup. You can have an entree. You can get a dessert. I mean, you can can get anything that you want off of the menu um, at a meal. And you can also, we have some residents who prefer to eat in their apartment. So they'll come and get their food to go and take it back to their apartment. And we have others who will come to the dining room and eat in the dining room. Um, In assisted living, we have an offering of three meals a day. So residents can come down because they don't have a kitchen in assisted living. They have a a kitchenette, just smaller version. And um, so they can come to our dining room and eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, So they're well fed. And our, uh, our chef here, yes, he's been here for 16 years and he is phenomenal. That's great. Again, you can reach the village uh, village at Heritage Point, 304-285-5575. Take a minute, Jeanette, if you will, and explain the difference for maybe folks that, that don't know or are unclear. What is the difference between independent living and assisted living? What are the differences there? And, and you offer uh, you offer both at the, Her- at the uh, village, right? We sure do. Um, so independent living is just you know, as it states, it's completely independent. Um, Just like being in your own home or your own apartment, but you have amenities. So like I mentioned, we have housekeeping for those residents, a meal a day in the dining room, transportation to get anywhere they need to go, activities and events. Um, So that, like we spoke earlier, just gives an individual an opportunity to come and live their best life and not have to deal with home ownership. Assisted living is someone who maybe just needs a little bit of assistance with getting a shower or medication management. Um, so, you know, they're kind of, they're not quite completely independent. Um, they have some needs that we can help satisfy for them. So we have 24-hour nursing and aid care in our assisted living. Um, I mentioned when they get three meals a day there. Um, housekeeping, we take care of all their laundry. Um, they really get pampered here um, in independent and assisted living, but uh, we have a lot of folks who come here and they thrive. Uh, we have one individual who turned 102 in September in assisted living, so um, people really do thrive in this type of environment and, you know, getting to be out and talking to other residents and just having that um, socializing aspect. Um, I don't think you can put a price on that. It, it's, it's, uh, it keeps them going. It gets them out of the same four walls of their home and the same person talking to the same person every day, all day. So they can come here and, and really venture out and, and really gain some, some friends and have a great time. It is the Village at Heritage Point, our guest on Mon Health Talk Radio this morning, Jeanette Lancaster, the interim executive director of the Village at Heritage Point. And if you sound, if you've heard anything that sounds interesting, you'd like to learn more, you can call them at 304-285-5575. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll talk it over with Jeanette about how to make an appointment, how to take a tour and view one of the units, and uh, how you can uh, perhaps get on that list, apply to become a resident 
at the Village at Heritage Point. We'll do that when we return. Stay with us. Mon Health Talk Radio continues on WAJR after this. Now back to Mon Health Talk, a discussion of the issues, people, and procedures in healthcare today. If you have a question for one of our healthcare guests, call now at 304 296 0041. Mon Health Talk on WAJR for this Monday. Thanks for joining us. Our guest is Jeanette Lancaster, Interim Executive Director of the Village at Heritage Point. And Jeanette spent the first segment of the show discussing all the wonderful things at the Village at Heritage Point. And Jeanette, if someone is out there listening and they think, man, that sounds great, I'd like to check that out for myself or for my parents, how does the process start? I would imagine it starts with a phone call and they would set up an appointment to come for a tour, correct? Yeah, so um, they can go online and um, on our website do a contact us type of um, inquiry um, to either request something online or to have a phone call made to them, or they can call me directly here at the village, and uh, we'll schedule an appointment to come in and do a tour. Um, You know, and they'll see the different apartment styles, Um, I typically like to show the apartments that people currently reside in. It gives you a really good idea for, you know, furniture placement and how the layout might work with what you might have in your own home to see how that might fit. So um, that's just part of the tour is looking at the apartments and then, of course, all the common spaces and the beautiful spaces that they can utilize for family gatherings or you know, if they want to reserve a room for any reason, they can do that as well. And again, that number is 304-285-5575 to reach the village and to uh, reach Jeanette at the village at Heritage Point. Okay, so I've come and I've toured and I've uh, looked around and I'm sold. So what's the next step? What's the application process like? Um, we have a couple of forms that we have to get completed just um you know, so that we can have all of the pertinent information on file um, as far as medical professionals involved in, in a, you know, residence care, um, their address, you know, demographic information, that sort of thing. Um, so we work through the paperwork process. I try to make it as easy and seamless as possible. Um, so I work with uh, potential residents and families very closely through the whole process. Um, we have a whole sheet of just different places to donate, you know, different items that they might want to be getting rid of out of their home, kind of thinking about that. Um, but the first thing is usually is downsizing. So, um, you know, just going through their home and deciding, okay, this, this is something that I can't live without. It's got to come with me. Um, and this is something that, uh, you know, I wouldn't have to take necessarily. We also offer... Um, five hours of uh, complimentary home interior design um, consultation. So we have um, interior designers who will come out to their current home and measure furniture, take pictures, they'll come here, they'll get their floor plan, and they'll make a floor plan for them with their furniture so that when they arrive, everything's already kind of laid out on a floor plan. Um, So it makes it really nice. So it takes all the guesswork out of it if something's going to fit or not. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, try to make it as seamless as possible. You give as much assistance as we possibly can through the whole process. Is there a waiting list? How does it work to uh, to physically get get an apartment, get in there? Um, I have some availability. Um, We have six different floor plans. So we do have um, a couple of the floor plans that do have a wait list, um, but the, I do have some other floor plans that are readily available um, and that we just work right through that and they can move in as quickly as they want to move in. And I always work with the residents or potential residents' timeline on whatever they need to do to make sure that their house gets sold or whatever they need to do to get their affairs in order as well. Wow, that's great. It's It truly is a full service operation the village at heritage point jeanette great information and uh again congratulations on on what you all built there it really is a it's a tremendous place and it's a it's a credit a testament to how wonderful this community is i believe and how wonderful mont health is 
yeah, it, this is the best place. It really is the best place to be. I've been with Mon House for 27 years. I've been here for two, and it's honestly the best place to be. It's, sure. uh, the, the residents and the feeling that you get when you walk in the door, it's just it's warm, and you can just tell it's a community, mm-hmm. a really good, warm community. So Excellent. Very good. Jeanette, again, great information. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll talk again. All right. Sounds great. Jeanette Lancaster, Interim Executive Director of the Village at Heritage Point. And again, you can reach her and the staff at the Village, 304-285-5575. Thanks for listening. That's Mon Health Talk for this Monday. Stay tuned to WAJO.